So, after my nice couple of days off, um, I'm back, as you can see. And this is 10 players, not 12, as I originally said. This is 10 players we need to replace in the summer. Um, or that I would replace in the summer, let's say. Because, we're, let's be real, we ain't going to go and buy 10 players this summer. But if it was me and we had money, these are 10 players that I would go and replace in the summer. I could potentially see 10 players leaving this summer, though. We know that Petr Cech's going to go. We know that Aaron Ramsey's going to go. We know that uh, Welbeck's out of contract as well. So there's three straight away. But I'll come to them later down the road um, and come to you with suggestions of who I think that we should replace them with. And tonight, I'm going to start it with Lauren Koscielny. But before I get into that, don't forget, subscribe to this channel if you're new. I'm not a million miles away from 10,000 subscribers. It's been mad how quick this channel has grown. So big up every one of you that has commented, liked, shared the content around and keep doing that. I appreciate it. And don't forget, stick a massive thumbs up on this video. But like I said, um, I'm going to do 10 players, one a day for the next 10 days, including today. And today's is going to be Lauren Koscielny. Now, how do I feel about Lauren Koscielny in his time at Arsenal? That's a good question to start off this episode. Now, personally... I don't rate him as highly as a lot of our fans. I've, I've always thought he's had a massive, massive mistake in him. And this isn't just a recent thing of the last couple of years. This has gone back all the way to 2011. We all remember the absolute shit fest of a final against Birmingham City. Chesney running out of goal. He thinks Koscielny's going to take it. Koscielny's running. He thinks Chesney's going to take it. And neither of them do. And the fellow starts... Uh, back flipping all over the gaff and they go on and win the final. Um, there's been other errors. He's in the top five or six in the Premier League history for giving away penalties, which is pretty unreal if you like, seriously. I, he, for me, everyone says Mustafi's this, Mustafi's that, blah, blah, blah. Yeah, that's cool. Everyone says that Koscielny's the better one out of the two. Yeah, he is. That's fine. But neither of them are any good, let's be real. Um, Koscielny has his days. I think Koscielny's um, had a good run of games in a couple of seasons that he's played for us. I think he's had, when, um, when Mustafi first came, I think they were 20-odd games, like unbeaten. And then we go and concede a goal in the first minutes of PSG, and we just looked all over the place in that game. And they've never really recovered as a pairing ever since that. But as an individual, last season against Griezmann, what is he doing? against Atletico Madrid at home. They're down to 10 men. We've absolutely bossed that game. We should have been 4-5 up. We weren't. We, uh, we were 1-0 up. We're cruising to a 1-0 victory. Yes, it was against 10 men. Yes, Atletico are a great team. But, you know, we were all over them at one stage. And that one moment of madness, in my opinion, cost us that semi-final. I know we went away and we were useless in the return leg, um, which, by the way, I was at their stadium, by the way. Wow, that is the loudest football ground I've ever attended in my life. One of the nicest as well, I must admit. That was a beautiful stadium, but their fans were crazy. Every time we got near their goal, their fans got louder. And then they cleared the ball away and they dropped down in noise. But ultimately, we went into that game with them having an away goal because Koscielny decided to try and flick it back over his head. And Griezmann ends up going clean through on goal, you know, and and that probably did cost us over them two legs because if we're one nil up, going away to Atletico, our game plan would have been completely different. There's been other games where he's salvaged us, he's helped us get into the top four. At Newcastle, he's done it, you know, scoring the goal on the last day to get us above Tottenham. But for me, how I'd rate Lauren Koscielny's time at Arsenal. Um, probably the best way to get and give me your thoughts on this. This is just my opinion. Like I've never particularly rated the guy, and I still don't rate him now. I think he's having a decent season. I think that the fact that he's come back from a long-term injury, and yeah, he was shocking against Southampton when he came back. But since then, he's put in some unbelievable performances. But the thing with him for me is that he doesn't do that 20, 30 games in a row. You can have one off day. But this guy seems to have four or five off days. Then he has two good days. Then he has three bad days. It's never a consistent run of 20 games in a row where you can go, wow, 
you're actually top class. Somebody like Van Dyke, for example, um, to give you an example, is a player, and I know his level's above Koscielny before anyone says that, and he cost a lot more money and blah, blah, blah. But at the end of the day, Virgil van Dijk fucked up at the weekend against Fulham. When was the last time before that that he made a massive mistake that led to a goal? Somebody leave that in the comment section down there because I genuinely can't remember. I can't remember the last time he made a massive error that led to a goal like that, but Koscielny does it quite often for me. So if I'm going to give him a rating out of 10 for his, um, his career at Arsenal, I think that I suppose you do have to take into account the fact that he cost, what, 8 million quid? And he came from a French League 2 team, I think. So you've got to take that into account when you assess these things. But for me, I'd give him, I'd give him a 7 out of 10. Let me know down there what your rating on Koscielny would be as well. Because, like I said, some of our fans put him in the top five centre-backs for Arsenal in their history. Like, come on, man, give your head a wobble. He ain't that great. You know, cost the boss and all that. He, he don't do it anymore. And listen, I feel quite sorry for him the way his career is sort of coming to an end with that nasty injury and whatnot. But at the end of the day, like I said, he has been superb when he's played this season. But ultimately, going forward, he is not the answer to our problems next season. I wouldn't keep him at this club full stop. I don't buy into this sentimental value that, oh, we should keep him. He can teach Rob Holden and he can teach Mavropanos, etc., etc. No. No, no, no. Um, massive no. Because for me, like I said, he's got way too many mistakes in him. Not only that, he's not a leader on the pitch. He's not a vocal voice on the pitch where if you're up against it, he's not dragging your midfielder back. He's not saying, Ramsey, you come back and sit here. Xhaka, why are you too far forward? Torreira, what are you doing? Why are you on the right wing? He ain't that type of defender. And that is the type of defender we need, in my opinion. Now, we also need somebody who's quite quick. Um, and I thought quite long and hard about this, and there, there's some that I'm going to throw out there. People are just going to laugh at, like Delict. Delict's a top draw centre back. Are we going to buy him? Oh, we fuck. Come on, man. This is Arsenal. We ain't we ain't shopping in that market. But that is somebody that we should be looking at. We're not going to be looking at that. So I thought, right, let's come come down a couple of levels. Nathan Aki at Bournemouth, quick, powerful. He can defend. Um, Yes, he's probably not as good as Koscielny right now, but I think with the right coaching, with the right team around him, with the right players around him, I think that he can elevate himself quite a few levels and actually become a really good centre-back. I rate him already. I think he's class. Another one who um, I think is decent as well, but again, it would cost quite a lot of money, is Harry Maguire. I think that he's, um, he's one of them players. He doesn't look like a footballer, especially a centre-back. Um, yes, he's got an error in him as well, but again, he's quite young and we need somebody that can be a ball carrier. Unai Emery wants to play with a ball carrying centre-back and whilst Rob Holding gives us that, Rob Holding is injured right now and if you've only got one ball carrying centre-back, as soon as they get injured, you're pretty fucked. So I think we need a couple at the club, both of them, Aki and um, Maguire fit that mould. There's rumours going around that Umtiti at Barcelona could be available this summer. Again, another one that's had mad injury problems, but again, another one that is decent. Yes, it might cost a few quid, but he is a decent centre-back and he would make us better. So any other suggestions, leave them in the comments section. Let me know your thoughts on it. How I would rate Koscielny, like I said, I'd give him a 7 out of 10 for his time at Arsenal. I think that... Yes, he's given us some good moments. He's scored crucial goals that have got us into a top four position. But ultimately, um, I've not been left thinking, wow, he was a, a brilliant centre-back for this football club. You know, others may disagree. And like I said, it's just an opinion. It's my opinion. You don't have to agree with that. I'm just saying what I think. Let me know what you guys think. Leave it all down in the comment section. But again, we need to replace him in the summer. He's a captain of our football club right now. And for me, I don't think he is captain material. But I can see why we gave him a captain's armband. He's been here quite a long time. And, you know, people are saying to me, oh, yeah, but he's a loyal servant, this and that. He could have gone here, he could have gone there. I don't buy into all that loyal servant rubbish. At the end of the day, if you're getting paid a lot of money, which he is, to play for a football club, you're not a loyal servant. You're a paid employee. Nobody loves the club how us fans love the club. Yes, he might care about the club. He might have a soft spot for the club. 
but ultimately he is not in love with this football club how us as Arsenal fans are in love with this football club that's not me being nasty that's just me saying how I see it so yeah day one out of ten Lauren Koscielny needs replacing in the summer I've given you some suggestions of players I'd replace him with some are unrealistic some are more realistic let me know what you guys think. Leave it all in the comment section below. And don't forget, subscribe to this channel. Get me up to 10K, road to 10K. Smash the thumbs up button and leave all your comments down there. I'll do my best to reply to as many of you guys as I can. Until tomorrow, at the same time, 9pm, with the second player of 10, I'm out of here. Laters, peeps.